Hello, Handstander, and thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. Of course, it's your old pal, Kyle, uh, back with some more handstand skills and drills that you can do right now to progress your handstand practice, get away from the wall, and hold that long, clean line in the middle of the room. Now, the exercises that you're about to do are actually excerpts from a few of my online handstand training programs that are available over at kyleweger.com, and I wanted to make them available to you right here today for free so that you can start to see just how easy it is to build handstand strength when you have the right tools and when you have the right techniques. So if you dig today's exercises, leave your comments below so you and I can start that conversation. Subscribe to this channel for more handstand goodness, and as always, head on over to kyleweger.com for your full handstand training programs. Easy. Here it is, plank pose round number one. We are up in the ante this phase, of course, uh, to 60 seconds. So in phase number one, the flirtation phase, 30 second plank, 30 second hollow, and then tucks. Uh, phase two, it was 45 seconds. This time we are going 60 seconds, one minute plank, one minute hollow, and then a one minute handstand at the wall. So I'm done talking, let's start doing plank pose. Put your hands down, wrists under shoulders. You guys know all the cues already. Let's do this. Start in three, two, one. So breathe, breathe, breathe is the name of the game. Strong, straight arms, strong, straight body. That is how you get a handstand. Take a big breath in and just through the nose, exhale. So if you can elongate your inhales and exhales, tends to make this a little bit easier. We are 20 seconds in. That's a third of the way by my math, if you can believe it or not. Yep, keep pressing down. Uh, what tends to happen when people are not paying attention to their plank, of course, is the dumpy plank in the low back and the shoulders by the ears. Press into the ground, dome out the upper spine, hinge through the uh, low belly to tilt the pelvis up just slightly, and then press back through the heels. 45 seconds in, 15 seconds left. You can do anything for 15 seconds. 10, easy. Keep pressing. This is your handstand, by the way. Skills and drills. Five. Four, three, two, one, and down. We're going to flip it over, if you don't mind, into everybody's favorite one minute hollows. Just wait till we work up to two minutes. You're really going to love it. All right, we are up in hollows one, two, or three. You know the positions. I prefer, if you can help it, go into uh, the bigger hollow. So we'll start off in one. Clock's running, by the way. Move my mic pack around. Hollow one. Hollow two or hollow three. I'm going to look up at the ceiling and think about happy thoughts, puppies, rainbows, ice cream, all the good stuff, right? Because hollow is not the most enjoyable. Um, I always tell my students it's not fun, but it is very functional, right? It makes you super, super strong in your handstand. See if you can shrug your shoulders up by your ears, point your toes as far away from you as you can. Yeah, I know it feels like an eternity, right? But once you kick up into that clean stacking handstand and you have a super strong belly to keep your hips stable, you're going to think, man, I sure am glad I did all of those hollow drills. Pull your belly button down into your spine and breathe. I should probably breathe a little bit more than I'm talking. So big breath in, big breath out. Last 10, last five, four, three, two, one. All right. Those never get any more enjoyable, but like I said, highly functional. All right. So uh, here we go. Handstand at the wall, round number one. Okay. Here we are at the wall, set number one. Handstands. We're going to kick up and then one minute. If you have to come down, I totally get that. Just make sure you go right back up. Okay. Here we go. One minute on the clock starts now. See if you can just kind of float and find it rather than putting a hole in your sheetrock. Okay, so handstand. I like my hands to be directly under my shoulders at all times whenever I'm upside down, right? Some people go wide grip. I just don't personally promote that. I understand why it might uh, be a more stable structure in your mind. However, once you get upside down, you're going for bone stacking here. So do the proper things. Don't let the elbows flare out. Press through the traps. Straighten your arms. Pull your belly button into your spine. If you have to come down, we're about halfway through. Take a quick breath and then come right back up. If you can hang and hold it, this is where the strength starts to develop so that when you get upside down in your uh, middle of the room handstand, you have that strong and stable shoulder. There is a fly currently in my face right now as well. So if you have distractions at your house too, just know I'm going through the same stuff. We got five. Easy. Four, three, 
two, and one. Woo, woo. Come on down. All right, one minute rest period starts right now. Again, um, I've mentioned this in previous videos. I like to stay moving. I like to give my wrist a little love. I'm going to set my iPod down that has my timer on it. Start rolling out the wrist, rolling this way, rolling internally, rolling up, down, side to side. And then one drill I like to do instead of palmar flexion on the floor is sort of mid-practice. I put one hand down like this. I put the other one on it, and then I start to lift, applying just a little bit of pressure into it so I make the back of the wrist work. Rest break. 29 seconds in, halfway down. Hope you're collecting your breath, getting ready for round number two. All right, take your thumbs, put them to the insides of your palms. You've seen this on the Essential Joint Health video. And then aim, whoo, there we go. Aim your knuckles down. You should feel this right there on the top. All right, then we got time for one more, about 10 seconds. Let's go swimmer claps. Just open up the shoulders, left on top of right, right on top of left. We got five, easy, four, three, Two and one. One minute rest is over. All right, here we go. Round number two. Let's head back to the mat for plank. Let's do it to it. Plank number two. Here we go. We're up in five, four, three, two, and one. One minute plank. No big deal. World record for plank as it sits currently in 2017 is something around eight hours. It was, I believe it was a Chinese police officer who currently holds the, uh, the record. Uh, prior to that, it was an American man who held it for like five hours and 20 minutes or something like that. That was forearm plank. I like to tell inspiring stories about plank while in plank, right? Find a little, find a little inspiration uh, in the chaos here. So we're halfway home on this one minute. We're already 30 seconds in. Easy peasy. Why do I do the same drills over and over to warm up and then increase the time? Well, it's because they work. That is just about it, right? You find some tried and true things, plank pose, hollows, holding handstands at the wall. That's how you get a cleaner, stronger, meaner, leaner handstand. We have eight seconds left. Can you believe it? There's five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down, everybody. Big breath in. And it's an easy exhale. We're flipping it on over. Not going to waste too much time here. Coming in to hollow. We'll start them off. Clock is ticking. Start them off in hollow one. Okay, got that version. Hollow two, got that version. And then the, the Mac Daddy of the hollows, the long one. So arms overhead, point your toes. 15 seconds in, already a quarter of the way home. Big breath in. Big breath out. Shaking is good. If you need to take a break, once again, you come back to hollow one or hollow two. But whatever you do, don't let everything fall. Point the toes, arms overhead, 30 seconds in, no problem. Forty. Last ten. Here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All righty. Handstand, round two. Let's get to the wall. All right, here we go. Same rules apply. Round number two. Put your hands down. I'll be your stopwatch. Get rooted in the hands, and when you're ready, pick a leg and then kick a leg. One, two, three. We are up. Yeah, so if it takes you a little bit of um, maneuvering, right, you get upside down, you get on the wall, get to that comfortable position. I like to re Establish my hands. If one of my legs is wonky, bring it back in. If my hips are wonky, get to a position where you can hold. So you don't just kick up and like have that um, handstand at the wall that is, you know, that perfect line. It takes a little adjustment. Much how like when you get to pressing your handstand and you get up, sometimes you gotta wiggle a little bit, take a little bit of an adjustment until you find that line. And then once you find it, you know you have it because it's super, super strong and super firm into. The ground. Good news. We're 40 seconds in. Two thirds of a minute by my math. Keep breathing. <sighs> always, always, always breathing. You get upside down. The tendency is to hold the breath because you get really excited because you're upside down and you're exerting a lot of force through the shoulders. Hand standing should be easier when you use the breath as the fuel. One minute already in the books. One minute rest starts now. Timer is going. And again, stay loose, stay active, give yourself. A little bit of hops. I kind of like acting like I'm a you know, boxer getting ready. Uh, I'll go into battle with gravity, that is, against my handstand. So uh, let's do some slow and controlled Jio Peng. Again, you've seen these in the Essential Joint Health video. Just up, shrug, and then back. Three, 
four, five. All right, easy enough. One, two, three, four. So not uh, super um, tight on those, right, in the, in the essential joint. That's a real struggle. Right now, I'm just trying to keep my shoulders loose. So roll the shoulders up, back and down. We got 15 seconds left on this break, and then we're going into round number Three shoulders back, shoulders back. Put your hands together like this and then press until the elbows go out. Hands at prayer position. What you're working on is just flexing through the fingers. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Round three, here we go. Here we go, third set. Let's get them up. No wasting time. We are putting the hands down, putting the butt in the air, lifting up to uh, round number three, plank pose. Plank pose, plank pose. In these plank hollow handstand drills, um, here's how you know you're gonna. Here, here's how you know you're getting stronger is when your planks start to feel like a vacation from the hollow in the handstand. That's a good sign. That means you are progressing, right? So press down through the hands again. Do all the little things right, and then hug your low ribs in towards one another to the middle of your body. We're already halfway home. That's 28 seconds. That's almost 30 by my count, right? But we'll definitely get to a full minute here. Uh, just breathing, pressing through the hands, focusing on the fact that your body's working hard, you're doing all the right things to get to your handstand, and that it is on its way. That's 45 seconds, almost done, my friends. That's 50. Keep breathing. Easy enough. Four, three, two, and one. It's already over. Can you believe it? Three rounds of plank in the books. Count it. Flip it on over to the back. You know where we're going. We're up in three, two, and one. Hollow body. Hollow body. Everybody's favorite. Hollow one. Hollow two. Right? Or, of course, my favorite. Hollow three. Hold, hold, hold. 25 seconds in, no big deal, right? Just focusing on the hollow. If it helps to close your eyes and go internal a little bit to feel this, that's totally fine. Life is all about the sensation, my friends, the kinesthetic, the feeling of knowing or the knowing of the feeling. Take a little breather, come out. Just don't come down. And then finish strong. Here we go, re-hollow out to hollow number three here, the long version. We got 10 seconds left. You got this. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and out. Sit on up. All right, last round. Let's get to the wall. Handstand number three. Okay, here we go. Round number three, I want you to be very, very deliberate about your one-minute handstand here. This is where you tend to get like a little quote-unquote tired. This is actually just your body warming up. So one minute starts now. Uh, what I don't want to see is really lazy backs trying to just muscle through the handstand, right? Get stacked. Get tall. Here we say this all the time, move with purpose, move on purpose. Same thing, do your handstand with an intention, with a purpose. It's not just this lazy pose where you're inverted. Everything hugs towards midline. Everything presses down in the upper body. For example, hands, wrists, elbows, shoulders, and everything reaches super tall in your lower body. For example, straighten the quads, get your kneecaps higher, get your toes higher. We're 30 seconds in, last set. Get your money's worth. Keep breathing. Close the eyes if it helps. Just feel what it feels like to have the shoulders opening up, chest coming through. Ooh. Ten seconds left. No problemo. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. One minute rest once again. Shake it out. Take your head, neck rolls. When you get into a lot of the presses, your traps can get a, a little tight, a little sore from you. So once again, just roll out and then roll everything down the spine. One thing I like to do with my, if the front of my delts and my traps are getting a little too tight, is I take my hands and I just start to draw down, down, down. Feel the expansion on the front part of the chest, or excuse me, the front part of the shoulder into the top part of your chest. And then let the traps just relax down and then take all of that the other way. Shake it out, move a little side to side. Easy breezy. All right, we got about 20 seconds left, and then we're getting back to work. Take it up over to the left. Let it sink back down. Take it up over to the right. Sink back down, and then roll through center for 10, 
Spinal articulation, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, done. All right, let's move on. All right, handstander, I hope you're feeling stronger as a result of those exercises, and I sincerely hope that you're starting to um, get your mind around the fact that handstand is just a skill. It is a skill that can be learned. It is a skill that can be trained. Now, the word training is where there's some gray area. Is your training just you flinging your body up and hoping that you stick it, or is your training a little more precise and have a little bit more intention behind it? If you're serious about progressing your handstands, I do have something for you. It's called the 30-minute handstand makeover, and it is exactly what it sounds like. 30-minute handstand training routine with yours truly and how to make over your handstand from like a banana back sort of shape into a nice clean line. You can get your hands on that over at kyleweger.com or guess what? It's in the description of this video right below here. So get your copy today and I cannot wait to start training with you. Easy.